Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this video, I would like to share with you about indices, uh, the rule of indices, and the manipulation of uh, rule of indices. Okay, so for the first part, uh, I'm going to uh, share with you on how to multiply two three times. So, how to multiply two three times? So we have. 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so let's put the multiplication sim symbol in the bit in between okay and then so how we're going to re-express this in the form of uh, indices is 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 is equals to 2 to the power of 3 okay whereby these two is what we call the base okay and 3 is what we call uh, as indices, the index lah, okay, index or power, okay, uh, okay, so that's index, that's uh, base, okay, so uh, that's it, that's what, what index is, okay, so let's move on to the second part, Rules of indices. Okay, so instead of throwing you the formulae for you to memorize, I will to make sense of the rules for each one of them. So for the first one, so we have x squared, right? So by using the definition of index that we've uh, we had in the first part, so x squared is uh, we it means that we multiply x two times. So x, uh, eh, this is not x. This is x. So x multiplied by x. So 1x, 2x. Okay, and then how about uh, x cubed? So it means x multiply x multiply x. Okay, and then how about the operation? The operation is x. Okay, x pula. Multiplication. Okay, so let's have a look. We have 1x. 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x in total that we multiply each other. So in short, it means x to the power of 5. Okay, so, so we can conclude if we have x power of A multiplied by x power of B, okay, so it is, uh, it's equals to x to the power of A plus B. So if it's multiplication, we can add the power as long as the base are the same. Okay, the base are the same. That's the condition. Okay, let's move on to the next one, the second one. Now, for the first one, uh, the operation is multiply. The second one, the operation is division. So don't worry so much. We just break this one first. So x multiply x multiply x multiply x. So x to the power of 4 simply means we multiply x 4 times. Okay. Now how about this one? Okay. So it means we multiply x 3 times. So x multiply x multiply x. And this division means this line. Okay. Because this one divide by this one. Okay, so what what's the next step? The next step is that now since these two axes are the same, uh, top and uh, up and down, we can cancel them out. Okay, the cancel concept that you've done, you like to do when back in high school is it means actually simply the division of x by x, because we know x divided by x or two divided by two. Eh, 2 lah. That's not 2. That's an x. Uh, 2 or maybe 4 divided by 4. All these means equal to 1. Okay, so this one also equals 1. This one also equals 1. So what's left? We have 1x left. This x has a power and the power is 1. It's just that it's hidden lah. We never write... Uh, y to the power of 1. Uh, never. Eh? It's unnatural for us to say that. But it's there. Eh? Okay, so from here, what we can uh, what we can uh, draw, uh, what, how, what is the conclusion? Okay, if we have a x power of A, okay, divide by another x with the power of B. 
So what we can do is the power we can subtract because we can see here 4, 3 becomes 1. So 4 minus 3 becomes 1. Okay, so that's the second rule. Now, let's have a look at the third rule. The third rule, eh? the third rule. Okay, so oh, so there are two powers eh, over here, 2 and 3. Uh, and also a bracket. Uh, confusing some more. Uh, don't worry so much. Uh, we will um, make them simple. I will make them simple. Okay. First thing first, we just make a box. This one. Uh, close them. Uh, then you cannot see anymore, right? Uh, so simple. Uh, so, uh, how, uh, so what this one means? It's just a box. Power 3. What does mean box power 3? It means that we multiply the box 3 times. So, simple. Box, multiply, box, multiply, box. Uh, okay, so put multiply here. Uh, so, simple only. Uh, don't worry. Okay, so what is the content of the box? Let's see. Oh, x squared. Uh, put x squared. Put x squared. Okay, and then x squared equals what? We multiply x two times. X, 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 multiply x, x. Now, since we already line up the x's, we count how many x do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6x that we have. Now, what is the conclusion that we can see? So, if we have... Uh, x to the power of something inside a bracket and then outside also has another power it's like we have uh, we can multiply the power uh, so this is the conclusion lah for the third one okay so let's move on to the to this one okay how about this one uh, same thing also we close them we give them a box. No longer see inside. Ah, the bracket a box. Eh? We give the bracket a box. So over here we see what? Box squared. What does it mean by box squared? It means that we multiply the box. Ah, the lengthy box. 2 times 1. 2. Okay. Then we, I put multiply lah in uh, between. Okay. Now let's see what is the content of the box. XY. Ah, copy lah XY over here. X, Y. Okay. Now, we have X, Y multiply X, Y. Then, uh, what we can do is, in multiplication of unknowns such as this, we can move them um, back and forth. Okay. So, we can move the X's together. So, X multiply by X, multiply by Y, multiply by Y. Okay. You see the X's are close. So, how many X we have here? 1, 2. So, x squared. Okay, and then, how many y's we have? 1 and 2. y squared. Now, you see over here, the 2 initially outside of the bracket. Now, the 2 is inside, uh, in on top of each x and y. So, the conclusion is, if we have x, y to the power of something, it's like we expand the power. More or less like that. Lah. It's like expansion. Not really an expansion, but more or less like it. So, x to the power of a, y to the power of a. Uh, okay. So, let's move on to this one. Uh, this one also looks scary because the division, isn't it? Okay. Don't worry so much. We put box. Close them with a the box. And then we close the fear. Close what makes us scared. Uh, so, squared a squared pula. It's a box squared. What does it mean by box squared? It means that we multiply the box two times. Ah, so this is the box. The rectangle box. And then we multiply them two times. So box multiply box. What is the content of the box now? X over Y. X over Y. This also X over Y. Now, X over Y is a fraction. Fraction multiply fraction is what? Multiply fraction. No need to write like this. Just put them side by 
side. Okay, sorry. So like this lah. Ah, just like this. Okay, it means that we can multiply the numerator with a numerator and we multiply the denominator with the denominator. So this is what I do. X multiply X is XX. Y multiply Y is YY. So how many X's we have here? One, two. So X squared over YY. So there are two Y's. So y squared. So over here, we can see initially the two is outside of the bracket. Now the two is it, it on each of the base. So if we have x over y with a power of b lah this time. So it's equals to x power of b over y power of b. Uh, so this one, this is more or less like the first one. Uh, more or less like more or less like this. It's just that this one is multiplication and this one is division. Okay, now that's the second part with we we've done with that now how about uh, the third part is the manipulation of rules of indices now how about x to the power of zero and x minus two power of minus two okay now x power of zero i'm going to use the uh, rule num uh, rule from number two let's see what is number two number two says x uh, x power of a divided by x power of b is x a minus b. Okay, so we are going to use that fact eh, to help us deal with this. Now, how to get zero? Okay, we can get zero by minus the same thing x minus uh, one minus one. One minus one is zero, isn't it? Okay, so and then we we are going to change this. Uh, the the subtraction of power means the division of the base. Okay, so let's see. X power 1, it means X power 1 divides. This one divides, eh? divides X power of 1. Another. Okay, so this one simply means X divides X. X divides X equals 1. So from here, we know that x power 0 or anything anything or anything power 0 equal 1 okay if the power is 0 doesn't matter what is the base it it is equal to 1 okay now the next one the last one is how about x minus 2 we are going to same uh, we are going to use the same rule okay so how we are going to get minus 2 okay we can um, we can have 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2 is minus 2, right? Okay. So, and then we change back. X power 0. X power 0. And then this subtract sim symbol means division. And then, X my, uh, and then this 2 means X squared. Okay, now. From the previous one, you see here, x square, x squared pula. x0 is 1. Okay? So, becomes become 1 lah over here. Okay? And then, divide by x squared. Okay? So, for, for this one, okay, the general rule is that if x minus b, power minus b, equals 1 over x power b. Okay, so that's all in this video. I hope you benefit from it. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum and have a good day.